What made the login into SCPS4 and a Cloud Edition with Proudme Desktop? After creating a new flow, we have to use the launch new Microsoft Edge action to start the browser. And if you prefer, you can use other one. So let's track the action. And so launch mode will be launch new instance to start a new browser instance. Then here, initial URL, let's pass the URL of our instance of SCPS for Anna. And then here, uh, window state, let's set it as maximizer and let's save. So now I'll just do here the logout and close uh, the browser. So let's close it and see how it's working. So here we can see that was opened here the login uh, screen, let's say. So now we have to fill here our account email and then click on continue to then insert the password and do the login. So to populate the email address, let's use here the populate text field on web page action. And here, uh, first we need to add the Y helmet related to the input field for the email. So here we have started recorder. So now to indicate, let's press control and left click. And here let's indicate our account email. Then uh, we need to click here on this button. So to click on it, let's use the press action. So the press button on web page to click on the button. So here we just need to map another Y helmet. So indicate the one related to the button. Click on save. And let's see how it's working for now. So I'll just close the browser and run again. So we can see it's working and now appears here uh, the page where we have to fill the password and then click on the sign in button. So to fill the password, let's uh, use again here the public text field on web page action and map here the password input field. And now here uh, we need to uh, pass uh, our account password. So uh, let's do it. And of course, ideally we will store it on the vault storage like CyberArk or Ashicorp. So like, there is a, quite a lot of uh, credential storage that we could use, uh, but so the idea just for this tutorial, let's keep it simple and store directly here. So. Then we need to use uh, the press action from web page. And let's, well, indicate here the sign in button. And that's uh, basically it, uh, really fast. So let's just close the browser and run to see how it's working. So with the email was filled and now will be the password. And it will work. So the sign in, the login is being done and the login was done successfully into SCPS4 and the Cloud Edition. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.